Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a candy gas cooker. It was on natural gas, but I converted it to LPG to take advantage of lots of free LPG. The point start of this video, it's important to point out that this video may not be in the UK. A lot of people might post comments thinking this is in the UK, could easily be in Ireland. I've posted a few videos about gas things before and check out my playlist if you want. You're probably not allowed to do this yourself in the UK. You're not allowed to interfere with gas things. People put in the comments, you need a Corgi registered engineer to do this. It's called a gas safe engineer in the UK. In Ireland, the rules are slightly different. To a certain degree, you can do what you want. Now, whenever it was changed to LPG, the pressure is different, but you change the jets. That's all okay. But you also have to change the low setting you can see with this flame, there's very little difference between high and low. So let's give that a go. Pull the knob off, pull out this rubber thing, just like that. It's a bit grimy in there. And then with a small flat bladed screwdriver, somewhere in here, there should be an adjusting screw. I think I can see it. So what I might do for funsies is turn it on first. So you can see the flame, I have my face cooked screwdriver in here and you can see that little brass screw down there let's turn this clockwise and see what happens if i was smart i'd be dangerous turn it down first then go at it because we're not just in the high flame are we so flat bladed screwdriver again that's gone a lot lower so if i turn it counterclockwise it goes up just turn it down to the last and that's the end of that you see that little brass screw in there just at my fingertip that's the one so let's do it again. Uh, the big ring this time over here. That's the big flame and it's mighty big. Turn it down, it's not much further down. Pull that off and uh, reach in here. You don't really need to remove this rubber thing, but it might help to be able to see what you're at. Try the smaller screwdriver, it's just easier to get it in. Look at that, instantly drops the flame ever so slightly. Better if you don't have to take off the um, rubber rings because they're tricky to get back on. What are we missing there? Better turn on the gas first. There you go. Turn them both down. Oh, that hasn't been off before. Turn that down. Reach in there and find that screw. Where is it? No, can't find that one yet. Hmm. There we go, that's the back one down as far as it's going to go. And the back right here. There you go. It's only a little bit of a difference, uh, but it makes it, it does make a difference. Right, put the knobs back on. To get this rubber ring back on, it can be a bit tricky. This one's actually not so bad. Just work it all around and then pop the last bit in. That's actually quite quite simple. Now, oh, put that on correctly like that. There we go. So now with all four rings on their lowest setting, they should be able to stay cooking all together on their lowest setting and not blow out or whatever. That's worked so far, so that test is done. The last test is to turn them all off and listen for four clicks. That's the fail safes or the flame detection sensor working. One, two, three, four. So all those flame detection uh, sensors worked there and that's it. That was remarkably easy to do. Well, only if you know how that little screw is in there hard to find um if this was helpful subscribe to the channel if you like the video give it a like that's good for me questions or comments and observation about practicing your own gas maintenance uh, leave them below i'll ignore most of them or i'll reply to them people get quite illuminated excited what's the word i don't know things gas gas lights some people up put it that way overly obsessive let's say i'll just delete it thanks for watching see you later